Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this uh, video, we'll be talking about understanding the capstone study. Now, if this is the first time that you have visited our channel, consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you will be notified when we will be uploading videos like this. Now, this uh, specific video is um, in response to a request from one of our audience to create a video on understanding the capstone study. Now, we'll try to understand in this video what is the mechanics of conducting a capstone study or what is a capstone study in the first place. Now, basically, uh, a capstone is a, an academic project. It is a project. It is uh, a task that a student will do in order that the student will be able to demonstrate certain skills or certain abilities. So a capstone project is a culminating academic project that students under undertake in their final year in college or in universities, probably in high school. Now, it is designed to demonstrate knowledge, skills, competencies that the students have acquired throughout their degree or their program. Now, basically, uh, capstone have different forms. Now, what are the different forms of a capstone project or a capstone study? Of course, number one, we have research. Now, research is a way by which we demonstrate skills and abilities and, and knowledge of the students uh, by applying what we call as an applied research or an action research or some kind of um, a research by which it investigate an actual and real world problem or real world scenario. Another one is cases. You will investigate certain cases, a certain phenomenon of a company or what is the explanation of a particular event that caused a company to either be successful or failure in the industry. Now, that is the purpose of a case study. This uh, perspective is, of course, based on management and marketing. Now, on other field, you may start to investigate certain phenomenon that have occurred or transpired in a society. Or you have to look into specific cases of certain diseases for that matter. So that is a case study in a form of a capstone project. You could also choose what they call as a creative or an application-based capstone study or a capstone project. So in this case, what you're going to do is you have to demonstrate skills, probably through organization of events, or let's say a conduct of a conference or a symposium or any activity that would culminate the years of, of students studying in that specific field. So meaning, a capstone could be a creative output. Probably uh, students in the field of performing arts would organize an event that has something to do with performing or it could be a concert, it could be a it could be some place or whatever it may be, as long as it demonstrates the skills of the student. Now, it could also be an application. You may invent something in order to solve a particular societal problem. Or you may devise some kind of an innovative way of doing things in order that it may solve societal problem. Now, the basic requirement of a capstone project or a capstone study is that the project typically requires students to identify a real world problem or question within their field of study and develop a plan in order that they can solve it. So meaning, 
if there is no real world problem or there is no practical question, there is no capstone study. So it brings us to the sort of uh, the difference between a thesis project or a thesis requirement and a capstone study. Because a thesis could be all theoretical. Uh, it could be something that is totally out of this world. It could be anything hypothetical or a question of philosophy or something that is related to that. Now, with respect to capstone study, there should be some societal problem. There should be a, a, an actual question and then the student will investigate the causes, the, the results, whatever it may be, of that certain scenario or of that certain situation. And in result, the student will produce a plan in order to solve that phenomenon or that societal problem. Now, the project may involve an original research analysis, or it could be a synthesis of existing knowledge, such as uh, review of related literatures and practical implementation of solutions in order to solve the real world problem. So in effect, the basic requirement of a capstone project is a real world problem. If it is a hypothetical problem, then practically it cannot be considered as a, as a capstone project. Now, the, the intention and the purpose of a capstone project is, is to provide the students an opportunity, an opportunity to apply the theoretical knowledge that they have gained in their coursework to practical and real world situation. They help the students develop a critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, research skills, and presentation skills. Because all of the results, the documentation of this capstone project should be presented to the, the body or to, to be presented to a body of audience. And all of which are essential for success in their future careers. So after you conducted the capstone project, you have to present the output of the study, the output of the project. So in effect, you have to know how to create or probably formulate the output of the capstone project. Now, which will be discussed in the succeeding videos in relation to this uh, discussion series on capstone project. Now, uh, a capstone project is a comprehensive and challenging academic uh, project. A uh, capstone project is not an easy project because it requires that you have learned already in the past and all of the things you learn will be applied on a real world scenario that allows students to demonstrate their mastery of their field of study while providing them with valuable experience that will prepare them for their future careers. So I hope that you have gained a basic perspective on what a capstone study is. Now we will be uploading videos in relation to the capstone project and I hope that you'll be watching our videos because in this series I'll be teaching you, I'll be sharing with you how are we going to document our capstone project. Uh, it could be in a form of research, in, in, in case studies, and in creative and practical applications. I'll be sharing with you how to document, how to create your documents and make you ready for your presentation. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video installment for this capstone series.